What's poppin' bad beaches and babinos? Today we are going to be making some homemade lip gloss. I just added these lip glosses to my website. They're called Dream Glosses. One is Daydream, which is the clear one. One is Lucid Dreams, which is the purple and silver one. And one is called Sweet Dreams, which is the orange one. So if you guys wanna see how I make my lip glosses, just keep on watching. One of the most important things about having a cosmetics brand is making sure that you do quality control. So right now what you see is me dumping out some lip glosses that I never put into the store. Um, I like to go ahead and fill up the tubes, let them sit for a couple of days and make sure that it doesn't separate. So this batch of clear um, and purple and orange definitely were separating. So what I'll be doing in this video is dumping everything out back into the container, which I make it in and then fixing the formula. Most of the time when your lip gloss starts to separate and you have like a very oily product, it's because there's too much oil and not enough base. The ratios have to be just right. So in that TKB bag, it is the lip gloss base and I will just be adding that to the clear and just mixing it back up and seeing what it's hitting for. Each one of my dream glosses is flavored, so you'll see me adding some more flavoring oil and sniffing the lip glosses periodically just to make sure they smell right. This oil that I'm adding right here is chamomile extract, which is very essential in um, anxiety and stress relief and stress management throughout the day. And your girl definitely has anxiety, so I love that lip gloss. It's obviously my favorite one. <laughs> Another thing to note is that I don't use exact measurements. I go based off of how it looks, how it feels, the consistency of it. And another trick when you're trying to figure out if your lip gloss is correct or not as far as the formula, just make sure you sit it down, leave it alone, move on to something else, but then periodically go back, stir it up, and see if the consistency has changed. I have found that even when the formula is correct, the consistency changes after it sits for a little bit. So just make sure that you're stirring it up period periodically so that you can see what it's hitting for. This close-up is the perfect example of what you don't want. You see how there's oil coming out way before the rest of the lip gloss? That's not okay. That's why we're doing quality control. Another important part of quality control is to remove your gloves and change them when you start working with every single gloss. It's very important for me, not just for the colors, but for the taste, because every gloss has their own flavor. So when flavors, you don't want the flavors to mix, so you gotta keep changing your gloves. And also, I have a trash bag down on my table, and I pre-wiped my table and cleaned out all of my materials, like the tubes, the pipettes, everything is clean and sterile. So that's another very important step. Now, I don't know what it is. Maybe the lip gloss gods were shining down on me, but my Lucid Dreams gloss from the very first batch has always been perfect. So right now, you'll just see me checking them, making sure that they're not too oily, and then just adding them into my completed gloss bag because, baby, they were good. So now I'm just making a fresh new batch so that I have some more because I was on my way to a beauty event. And so, you know, I'm, I'm selling out, y'all. I'm selling out. Every time I make a batch, I sell out. So this is amazing. Thank you so much for your help. So this is just the rose gold glitter and the silver glitter that goes into 
the lucid dreams gloss i'm just going to be adding it in then i'll have a cut in video of what it looks like when i mix it up Finding all my inventory for making lip gloss was actually a little bit harder than I thought it would be. So if you guys want a video on how I chose my flavors, how I found all my materials, etc, etc, just let me know in the comments below and I'll put that in my next Babs and Business series video. loving this video please make sure that you like comment subscribe and share it with a friend there are so many of you guys that watch my babs and business playlist you comment you dm me on instagram you send me emails and let me know how i've inspired you and i just really appreciate that guys um i love you we are almost at 6,000 subscribers like i really do think we can probably get to 10k by like january so like dog i'm so excited y'all are awesome thank you so 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 much and let's just keep it rocking. Next step is putting the labels on the lip gloss tubes. This is something that you want to do before you start filling the tubes up because when you do the tube filling, everything gets sticky and gooky and like it just it's really hard to put the stickers on after the fact. So make sure that you're putting your labels on before you fill your tubes up. Bab Squad, I have such an amazing beauty bundle raffle going on right now. So for $15 a ticket, you can enter the raffle and potentially win a beauty bundle from my company. So I'm giving away three pairs of mink lashes, two lip glosses, a lip scrub, and a pop socket. So check out the cash app in my description box. Extremely helpful tip for filling up your lip gloss tubes is to not let any air get into your syringe. Having air bubbles when you're trying to fill up your lip gloss is so frustrating because it just pops everything around the tube and then you can't see anymore. It's a mess. So just make sure you're not getting any air bubbles in your tubes. And there you have it, my loves. This is bringing us to the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions at all, make sure you give me a comment below and I'll be sure to answer it for you. I hope you guys really enjoy your lip glosses when you start buying them from my company. Um, and just enjoy your day. Remember, these glosses are $5 each. The Daydreams gloss is the clear one. The purple one is Lucid Dreams. And the orange one is Sweet Dreams. I love you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I'll see you in the next Babs and Business video. Bye.